Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Mario and Luigi Partners in Time playthrough. Uh, last time we made our way to Yoshi's Island where there are a couple of different things uh, actually going on right now. Um, first of all, it does seem like uh, there is some evil afoot going on with the shrooms as a giant Yoshi shroob monster has started attacking and started causing havoc here in the land of the Yoshis. Uh, more than that, it seems like Kamek is here as well, and obviously Kamek and Baby Bowser have our Cobalt Star Shards, so we need to put the uh, chase on them and get those back. Uh, so let's go ahead and get things started here. Kamek does seem to be in the room right now, so let's, uh, let's give them a little surprise, shall we? And hey, it looks like Baby Bowser is here as well. Although I think we did technically know that. Ugh! Ah! Prince Bowser, Little Bites. Oh, here, have some warm milk. It's, uh, from an evil cow. Ah. Nothing quite like good cookies and evil milk. I was a little creeped out at first, hanging out in this ghost town, but... Then I realized there was no one to stop me from eating every cookie in sight. Yes! Yeah, it's been great. Ack! Baby alert! Urgh. What are you chumps doing here? Aha! You followed me all the way here to swipe my treasure, didn't you, you scum? Huh? Not just the treasure? You want the cookies, too? Wahahaha! <laughs> You've got to be kidding. You stole the treasure in the first place. So you're the bad guys, duh. So all this stuff stays mine. This. And those. Oh no! Stinky babies. Prince Bowser, take it easy. Urgh. Cookies. Leave this rabble to me. You just go walk it off, your hungriness. Urgh. You punks got lucky, hear me. Stealing food? Who does that? You'll pay for those cookies. Oh, all right. Fine, fine. Kamek, I'm counting on you to finish these snackaholics. Phew. You guys are really starting to chap my shell. I'm going to yank out all those mustache hairs after I beat those cookies out of you. Okay, so here we have our next boss fight here against Kamek. Um, Kamek has about 450 HP, but he will heal that HP at some point. It's actually kind of interesting. In the other versions, I hear that he has like over 600 HP, which I feel like is quite a bit of difference uh, compared to the American version, which or the English version, which is again um, 450, but eh, it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, um, as you can see, Kamek starts as a single target here, so um, we're going to do some good single target damage here with uh, Cannonballers. Uh, let's make sure we got this right. Do, 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 do. 75 damage, not too bad, not too shabby. Ah, dang it. Man, I am so bad at uh, using the... Uh, hammer counterattacks for those uh, air targets. It's just... I don't know, it's really hard for me for some reason. Uh, so one thing I didn't really um, acknowledge with the uh, flower items... Uh, because, yeah, you can use the uh, bro flowers to attack enemies. And for the most part, you can only attack ground enemies. But there is actually kind of a reason that you can only attack ground enemies. Um, it's mainly the adult brothers. They're the ones that attack ground enemies, but the baby brothers actually attack the air enemies. As you can see, they have kind of an overhead throw. That is something I didn't realize until I actually kind of watched this back and noticed that. Uh, so I should be able to use uh, bro flowers on these guys um, successfully if I, again, pay attention to what I'm doing. Now, I feel like you can't throw fireballs as fast, uh, but still, um, it's definitely some good damage output and definitely something you probably want to focus on. Uh, so let's go ahead and do cannonballers again now that the single target Kamek is back. Okay. 
And it looks like Kamek fell off of his broomstick. He's gonna use some magic here. Ah, dang it, man, I missed again. Just kind of missing these inputs by a little bit, which is kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, since I don't want to use too many of my cannonballers, let's go ahead and switch to Smash Eggs just to do some extra damage here. Actually getting some... Oh, damn it, I got some lucky strikes in there too, but... Still managed to mess that up a little bit. Admittedly, I am kind of coming back to this game after not recording it for uh, a couple of uh, weeks, so... Obviously, my timing is a little off, but that will something, that's, that'll be something I can fix with time and practice. Okay, I didn't get any items from that, unfortunately. Let's see if we can actually... There we go. So you got some good damage in there, too. Yeah, we do have a lot of smash eggs as it is, so we may as well just use a couple of them while we have them. And they are kind of, again, the newest items we've come across. I mean, there's also the ice flowers, but the ice flowers work pretty much exactly like the uh, fire flowers, just with ice and a different effect. I'm actually kind of surprised that Kamek hasn't done any healing yet. Oh, come on! See, I missed all of those, but I feel like my timing wasn't bad. Like, I feel like my timing was fine, but it just, I don't know, it was just like a frame off or something. Uh, so let's go ahead, use the bro flowers again. See, I should probably consider healing here in a bit, but let's see if we can maybe get Kamek down before that'll be necessary. Okay, not too bad. I was able to... Oh, wow! I did actually get Kamek down, and I did it before Kamek actually healed, too, so I actually saved some time there. So there we go. Get our level up. Level 11. Let me try to think about... Uh... I want to say Stash is next, because 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Yeah, Stash is next. Nice. I could barely see those sixes, too, so I got kind of lucky there, admittedly, but I'll take it. Let's go to stash again. One, two, one, two, one, two. There we go. Alright, so there we go. Kamek has been taken care of. Yorg! Okay, well, sorry about that, Kamek. Yorg to you, too. Um, also, one thing I forgot to do, not that it really mattered, because I didn't need to actually like, really use the babies for anything, um, but I did actually get a piece of equipment last time that I forgot to kind of acknowledge and talk about. Uh, but we did get the heart pants. The heart pants were an item that you could find in the clouds of, I think, the second part of the like Yoshi's Island area. Um, these are actually baby equips, and they're actually not too bad either. Uh, because they're actually uh, better and stronger than what we currently have right now. As you can see, not only will this increase uh, the defense of Baby Mario, uh, but it'll also increase the HP as well. And since uh, Baby Mario is the more fragile of the two babies, um, this is probably going to be better utilized on him. So we're going to go ahead and give him the heart pants. And uh, going to pretty much move on from there. So let's go ahead and keep things moving. Let me make sure I'm not missing any uh, bean spots. Doesn't look like it. And yeah, let's uh, go ahead and proceed to the next area here. You're trapped, Baby Bowser. There's no escape for you. Urgh, unbelievable. A stupid dead end. You mushroom munchers. 
Eat my cookies, will you? Fine. I'll eat the treasure instead. Oh, God. <laughs> er. Wow. Yum. Those shards were delicious. Hey, what are you... Let go! Oof. You're... Blurp. I see you. <laughs> oh, those damn shrubs. Oh no! He learned how to climb! <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Having a little bit of trouble, but... Giving him a little bit of shock treatment, I guess, to... Wow, grow even bigger, apparently. Oh no! Oh no! Well, it looks like our adventure will now end as the Mario Brothers and the babies are dead. Oh wait, no, we're alive. We're just playing Bowser's Inside Story, just not with Bowser and a weird Yoshi mutated creature instead. But we do seem to be very much alive, so, you know, hope's not lost yet, at the very least. Luigi trying to entertain. Not doing a very good job of it, but he's trying. Mario. Oh, but Luigi has cookies. That'll get the babies to stop crying. See, cookies solve everything. <laughs> Yay, Mario's back. I surmise we're inside that beast gastric chambers. Young Bowser and his belly full of star shards should be in here somewhere as well. I suggest we find him and get out of here with all speed. Well, he has not said that line in a while. <laughs> I guess he got tired of uh, got tired of saying it as much as I got tired of uh, updating that counter. Apparently, or maybe he stopped because he know I was keeping a counter. Uh, so yeah, you can hit these things with the hammer. Um, I'm not sure if uh, these do anything. They just kind of demonstrate that this is what you do with these. But I'm sure they'll definitely be used a bit later. So. Let's go ahead and go up here and see what we can find. Hey, it's a Yoshi. Push, push! If I can get this rolling, it should make a way out of here. Can't seem to budget on my own, though. Push, push! It does seem likely that rolling that giant stone down the hole will expandulate the passage. There may be other Yoshis wandering around in here. I suggest we locate them. Yeah, seriously, not gonna say back to adventure anymore? <laughs> you stopped right before 10. Like, that seems like a bad place to stop. Anyway, if you may have noticed, there's a lot of uh, bean spots in this room. I believe there's like 15 of them, so... Uh, this is, I guess, a good way to get some extra beans, that's for sure. Also, yeah, make sure you stick to just the X and Y buttons here, because obviously the other buttons will go to the other brothers. I want to say this is, like, the best room in the game to get beans, because, again, there's 15 of them. Of course, once you get them all, they'll no longer be there, and 
Honestly, I don't know if there is actually a way back into this area once you finish it, so... Definitely make sure you grab these while you're in here. Because again, there's a lot of them. Also, I might hit that heart block in a second, because obviously, uh, Baby Mario, since I put the uh, heart pants on him, his HP is not uh, back up to max at the current point in time. Uh, so is that all of them? I want to say that is all of them. Yeah, I think we're good. Uh, so let's go ahead and, first of all, bring the adult brothers back. Because we have some things we need to explore. And it's likely we'll probably find some enemies here as well, because we are in a new area. It does seem like the game has a pretty interesting trend of, like, introducing, like, three new enemies in each area. There might be a little more as we get into, like, future areas, but at least at this current point in time, it seems to be just three of them. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw the babies down here. I know that doesn't seem smart, but uh, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And again, these uh, little tree stump-like areas usually have some kind of good treasures or some uh, extra fights you can do with experience. In fact, we have a new enemy right here. I believe uh, these guys are spiky enemies. Or not. Are they not? Okay, I guess they're not spiky enemies. I really thought they were. But nope, they're just normal enemies. Oh, shoot. They really, really hurt, though. So let's get rid of this guy as soon as possible. Does the hammer make a difference? Nope, they still get hurt by the hammer, so we need to be careful of that. Now, of course, uh, I guess one way you want to fight these guys is I feel like the more you hit them, the madder they'll get and the more damage they do. So one thing you might want to do is maybe, at least to start with, just focus on, like, kind of distributing the damage as opposed to just making one really powerful. And then only finish them off if you know you can finish them off. Uh, but yeah, those enemies were called bullies. Uh, they have about 44 HP. And, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much uh, all we need to really say about them. What the hell is that? You got a piece of fruit. Mmm, fruit. <laughs> Nothing wrong with fruit, that's for sure. Uh, I believe I already checked that, because that was the first one. I think we checked all three of the things here, so we're good. I guess one thing that is kind of nice is there is the... Uh, there is this, this heart block right here, so we can use that to restore our um, HP after taking all that damage from those bully enemies. Whoa, what the hell? It's another Shroob. And he's being terrorized by this guy. How dare you terrorize him. Uh, so these guys are called RC Shroobers. Uh, they have 78 HP. So we do need to put a little extra damage on these guys. But they also have um, some very interesting attacks. They use their antennas to kind of call forth some UFOs. I kind of like the counter attack there. where It, it kind of drags you into the attack and you have to kind of time it and then just fire the UFO back at them. That's kind of a cool little counter-attack thing there. So there we go. We help the Yoshi. Thanks! Huh? Escape? Okay, so yeah, this is pretty much what we're going to be doing. We're going to be trying to uh, get all the Yoshis together and uh, trying to basically uh, bust through uh, that passage that's kind of closed up on the bottom floor. Yeah, we'll hurt the monster in the process, but it's kind of his fault for eating us in the first place. And the last enemy we have in this area is actually the Dry Bones. Um, I find that the Dry Bones in this game act pretty similarly to how they do in Superstar Saga, where they have a very simple pattern and just kind of based on their own movements, you can kind of tell who they're supposed to go for. And 
more than that, if they make that little jump attack, you know that they're going to be throwing an overhead throw, so you want to stay on the ground in that case. But for the most part, as long as you pay attention to what they do, you can kind of dodge the attacks with no issue. Just a matter of paying attention to what they're doing. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this. And looks like we have a bit of a pattern up there. A pattern we might need to memorize. Uh, before we do though, let's go ahead and grab some other stuff. And, uh-oh, there is a Yoshi down there. So let's see, let's uh, maybe... Can we go under the door? We can't, so there's something else we gotta do here. I think we gotta do this. I think we gotta hit this. To match that little thing up there. Aha! And that'll open up a smaller passage for the babies. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stand in front of this uh, thing. Because I have a feeling that this uh, sequence is going to be important later on, so... Let's go ahead and dive under here. Yep, indeed, this sequence is important. Uh, first of all, any enemies or any bean spots doesn't seem like it. So let's go ahead and switch back to the babies here, or the adults there, for just a moment. Get all that on screen, and let's start... Uh, changing this the Yoshi will be free and we can continue on our merry little way. I'll just go ahead and just, well, let me do this. That's maybe not super convenient because, again, I'd just get them back anyway and could have just moved with them, but let's go ahead and talk to this Yoshi. That was scary! Yeah, I'm sure getting eaten by a giant monster it would be pretty scary. At least he kind of, like, got bigger. Like, you gotta imagine, like, if the giant monster was the same size he was earlier, you gotta imagine the insides of the monster were, like, a lot narrower, and the Yoshis probably didn't have, like, much room to, like, uh, move around. So the monster kind of getting better, bigger was kind of a blessing in disguise, if you really think about it. So let's go ahead and go in here. Got some more bullies. Thankfully, though, we have the brothers together, so these should be a lot easier to defeat now. We should be able to defeat them before they get too mad. Well, there we go. Oh, well, wasn't ready for that. And yeah, as you can see, like, they are slower and they haven't been attacked. So let's do this. I'm gonna use Luigi to defeat you, get you out of the way. We're gonna use Mario on the dry bones. That way, next turn we can just start focusing on the bullies. I love how like these are like actual like bull enemies and not like bullies from Mario games. They do have the horns though, which bullies do have horns. In those other Mario games, so that's 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 at least kind of staying true to those, I guess. I guess Luigi is just like really really slow right now, because yeah, Luigi seems to be slower than like all the other enemies at this current point in time. But that's the thing, Luigi speed is not Luigi's strong suit. I have no idea why I jumped right there. Like, I even saw the dry bones jump. I'm like, okay, don't jump. And then I just jumped anyway. <laughs> you know how it goes. Sometimes that just happens. Do get a decent amount of experience for that, though. And a green pepper. 
Which I believe green peppers actually like increase your defense like during battles, which is kind of neat. Uh, puffy trousers. We'll have to take a look at those. I'll actually do that now just so I don't forget about it like I did the heart pants earlier. Uh, so puffy trousers, fluffy, heart-friendly wolf trousers made of the newest hip fabric. So these are basically just like the hard pants, just with, um, for the older bros. Uh, so let's see, who needs it more? I'd say, I'd see Mario still. So yeah, we'll give it to Mario. Looks like Mario gets all the good stuff in this dungeon. <laughs> Apparently. Okay, I went ahead and took care of the, all the enemies in this room, just to get that out of the way. Uh, get some more ice flowers, which is nice. I think we're pretty much good to go in this room. Doesn't seem to be any Yoshis in here. I think this is just kind of a little restock room, but that's okay. Definitely not a bad thing to find. And we also get some more beans out of it, too, so... Definitely not complaining. I also got beat up quite a bit, so... Let's go ahead and use some health before we move on. I think I will go ahead and try to finish up the rest of these rooms, because there's only two left at this point, so I may as well. Let's see, we got some spikes, we got some baby-only platforms going on. Uh, let's go ahead and throw the babies here on this trampoline. But, looks like we do have some enemies we have to deal with first. Alright, get some ice flowers, anything else? Looks like we got some more enemies, too. Okay, well, let me take care of these. Okay, so we got a level up out of this. Uh, I believe uh, we're up to power now for the babies, so... Let's see what we can get. One, two, one, two, one, two. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Let's give Luigi a... Oh, he has a six in here. Nice. Okay. And it's actually kind of a nice, because with that attack boost, we actually managed to uh, get some more, uh, be able to kill those guys in like two attacking rounds, or one attacking round, actually, so that's kind of nice. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here, a couple of different holes we can fall in. Uh, let's fall in this one first, because there is a... Uh, thing here so we can get that bean. I think we also have to warp them back. I don't know. I guess we could, I guess we could jump on the spikes and see what that does. Okay, that works. Uh, so now we need to find the Yoshis here, or find the right platform for the Yoshis. So let's see. Um, boom, boom. This is the one we want. First, let's do this. This will create a nice little bridge for our Yoshi friend to get out of here. That is a long line of Yoshis pushing that Chomp Rock. Also, I love how they actually have Chomp Rocks here. Like, we're, we're not in Yoshi's Island right now. We're inside a thing that's in Yoshi's Island, but... Also, I know there's a Yoshi there, but we'll, we'll, we'll deal with him in a little bit. He's just taking a nap. We don't want him to, like, uh, overdo it. I mean, being eaten by a giant troop monster is obviously not a super comforting feeling, you've got to admit. Okay, so this Yoshi is being terrorized, so let's see what we can do under here. Do we have any enemy fights in here? doesn't seem like it. That's good. Let's go ahead and fill Baby Mario up with some good old water. And let's see what we can do. Um, nice. Again, now he's acting super erratic. Or he's just dead. <laughs> I guess that works too. <laughs> now let's 
go ahead and... Because I, I imagine that Shroob is going to probably attack us, so... Let's go ahead and rejoin forces here. <laughs> yeah, he ain't too happy about that. We'll go ahead and show off this fight, because again, we haven't seen too many of these guys in action. That's just so cool. It's a really cool counterattack. I really love that. Really, really neat. Okay, so let's go ahead and give Mario a level up. He's level 12. That's going to be HP for him. Five, five, five. Nice. Luigi also going to get a nice level up. Well, at least they're both at 50 HP now. That's kind of neat. <laughs> there we go. We rescued another Yoshi. That Yoshi is now helping out. Still not quite enough uh, strength to uh, push that, though. Don't worry. I have an idea. I have a plan. Yellow Yoshi, I like you. You're a good Yoshi, but you need to help out. So hungry. Need fruit. Well, thankfully, we found a piece of fruit earlier. Yippee! Fruit! Thank you. Yes, I'm good to go. So now, the yellow Yoshi will jump in the middle of that, not even at the end, and will also push this rock. It's moving. It's going. A little further. Push it down the hole. Gotta admit, this has to hurt the inside. Oh, yeah, look, he's in pain up there. <laughs> Does make a nice little path to the next section of the area, though. Let's roll! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, roll indeed. Okay, so they both don't exactly have, like, exactly, like, 50 HP, Mario and Luigi, but they pretty much do. I think it's just like the uh, equipment that Mario has on that ha give, gives him more at this current point. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here. Thank you for watching, everybody. This seems like a good place to stop. I will see you guys next time when we explore the rest of the Yubes belly. And uh, see if we can uh, find a way out of here and also find uh, Baby Bowser as well. See you guys then. Later, folks.